Hey everybody, it's uh, Jason from CNC Labs with a little uh, different take on what uh, I normally do. So today I'm introducing the IVAX uh, switch components that we have for our machine. This is a remote device to turn on your shop vac or your big industrial vac remotely anytime you start your CNC machine. Today I'm just going to be walking you through uh, where to plug it in onto the control board. This will be the same for both the alt mill and the long mill control board. So if you got either one, this will work exactly the same way. I'll also show you how to uh, get it set up in G Sender so that every time you start a project, this will kick on your shop back and you don't even have to remember about it, okay? So right now I've got the IVAC switch. This current one is for 110 use and I'll be demonstrating on a shop back. And this is the IVAC Tools Advantage. Uh, and I've got an external lead for it that I will be connecting uh, using the jumpers in one of our control boards. To prepare the IVAC Tools Advantage, uh, you're going to remove the flood port uh, connector, pull that out, uh, that you should have that on your control board. And then we're gonna head on over to the table here to show how it gets wired, because its polarity is important. Now that we've removed the connector from the flood uh, port on the control board, this is both for the SLB and the SLB EXT boards, uh, polarity does matter. So when you got the connector with the screw heads facing up, make sure that the red wire is on the left hand side and the black wire is on the right hand side. And once you got that plugged in and tightened down, you're good to go to put it back in. Now that we got the external cable all wired up, we're going to plug it back into the control board on the flood port, and we'll move on over to G Sender to get that programmed up. All right, now that we've got everything wired into the control board, we're gonna move on over to G Sender to do the magic part. Uh, we're gonna get into our settings, and we are going to go down into program events. This will allow us to turn on the flood port uh, when we start our job and it will turn off the flood port when we're finished. So that will start the vacuum and turn off the vacuum. So what we wanna do is under program start, we're gonna put an M8 command. And always don't forget to hit update start event, otherwise it won't take. And in the program stop, we're going to select, we're gonna input an M9 command. Don't forget to hit update stop event and everything is now ready to rock and roll. That's it, that's as simple as it gets. All right, now that we've got G Sender set up and the commands are uh, ready to go, uh, a couple of housekeeping things before we get finalized. Uh, on this here, it's, it's a three-way switch. Make sure that you're set to the middle position, otherwise the vacuum will turn on as needed, as you can see here. We wanna be on the external side, which is in the middle. That way it can receive the commands and send them out towards the machine. So this is on the pros tool. On the vacuum side, on the IVAC switch, you wanna put it into auto mode. Uh, that way it can receive the signals sent from the transmitter. So one final thing we wanna do is we'll just wanna test to make sure it works before we start our job. Uh, head on over to uh, the coolant tab uh, where you got the commands that we've input into start stop. These are the exact same commands, just in button format. Then just head on over, press your flood. There's a delay uh, once the command has been executed to stop. Uh, that way it just continues on sucking up any extra dirt that's been left in your line. You should see that the, the LED will, will flash once it receives the start and stop command. So you know that it's kind of working. And that's it. That's how easy it is to install the IVAC system or switch onto your uh, long mill and alt mill control boards. All right, thanks and have a great day.